so um, i may go off camera while it's presenting you know so let me share my yes, screen yes. so i hope uh, everyone is able to see the screen right yes we are all right and uh, once again a very good morning to everyone and i welcome you to in this session let me go to a full screen right for a better visibility yeah yeah perfect um so what uh, what are the learning objective for today's uh, you know webinar it's very plain and simple because since we are uh, introducing everyone with the topic right so we will bit of learn around you know what is clinical research what it is the process how it looks like and of course uh, you know when it comes from a student perspective they they wanted to make a career so what is its demand as of now how well this industry is doing and what is its future right and what are the skills those are needed and what are different roles in uh, clinical research those are available and where you can find the jobs right and uh, who can be clinical researcher right what are the qualification that is needed and i have also listed a few resource material at the end so that if you wish to you know after this webinar it should not be the end of the learning and if in your available time you want to dig deep you can go go to those resources and you can you know collect your knowledge and so so uh, talking about what is clinical research you know uh, it's same as you are doing uh, your scientific experiments in the lab so clinical research is nothing it is you know scientific experiment so what makes it different or what is unique in this experiment than your your normal experiments that you are doing in your labs the only difference is that since the humans are involved the participant those are involved in human you know so suppose you are in a chemistry lab if something falls if experiment goes wrong the implications are not that high stakes are not that high but if in the clinical trial something goes wrong stakes are high you know someone can lose life and these are performed under control condition when we say you know when we make such a strong statement is that these are performed under controlled condition it means lot of people are needed right those may be a patient facing or not be a patient facing so it means lot of effort if we want to control each and every step then it means that you need a lot of uh, people to uh, do the work and is needed to quantify scientific aspect of the treatment and the clinical trial what we do is that we really quantify we really give a data like okay this drug is effective for this disease wo kaise prove hota hai if we give them a data right we have to prove basically so uh, these are more scientific uh, definitions you know i have left for you so that in case you wanted to learn because the clinical trials they are the scientific ways to find new drugs maybe a new vaccine or maybe a new therapy or you know maybe new ways to use the old treatment so it can be you know used as your pharmacy student so to, you have already very good you know foundation so i need not to very go deep into the subject but this is how it is you know and what is looked into a clinical trial so if we say that we are going to have one clinical trial so what are the key question that we answer in that trial the first answer we does is it safe you know agar if you are taking some pill आपका पहला क्वेश्चन क्या होगा इज इट से ओके फॉर माई बॉडी राइट इसका कोई साइड इफेक्ट तो नहीं है यू you नो know? और वैसे भी आप लाइफ में कोई काम कर रहे हो तो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेफ्टी ही आता है कि इज इट सेफ राइट एंड सेकेंड इज दैट विच इज अगेन अ गुड क्वेश्चन इज दैट इज इट वर्किंग राइट हमने मेडिसिन तो ले ली है सो इज इट सेफ इज इट इफेक्टिव लाइक अभी कोरोना वायरस वैक्सीन का क्वेश्चन है एवरी वन इन माइंड इज इट सेफ इज इट इफेक्टिव तीन महीने के बाद फिर से लेना है क्या 
how long it is effective so these two may two are the main questions those are answered in clinical trial so very first is it is safe one and two is ke kaam kar raha hai jo uska job hai agar vaccine ka job hai protection ka kya wo kaam kar rahi hai so these are the questions main question those are answered in a clinical trial so another thing is that why we need a clinical trial you know and can't we have other ways no we don't have other ways so clinical trial are the fastest and the safest way to find a new treatment if we wanted to understand a new treatment new diagnosed new vaccine anything we only option at the moment we have is the clinical trial we don't know the future but at the moment we have a clinical trial so now i'll i you know as we as i emphasized is that the clinical trial uh, how, what is looked into the uh, it is it safe is it effective right so how one drug that you are taking suppose you, you have you of course you have taken so many drugs and vaccines injections in your life have you imagined how that have reached to you you know how that pill has traveled its journey there is a journey for each vaccine each uh, pill each injection right so this journey of course start with the lab you know everything starts with the lab and but we the journey from lab to market is not easy it has many obstacles right so which is also known as the drug development because hum ek nayi drug ko develop kar rahe hain so if i see at a longer picture you know so drug development is expensive and it's time consuming and it needs a lot of effort and we are not sure that our molecule will come to market or not you know so if you are looking at all these things you know which is also related to you if you wanted to make a career in a clinical research is that if something is very expensive and it taking lot of time and it is also taking effort so the the companies they really wanted people who are working with them on the new drug development they are highly skilled right they are always looking for a skilled people who can navigate through the problem you know so the, the people who are skilled so that things and things don't slip from their hand uh let me bring take you to the next slide so now we will try to understand you know ki ye drug development kaise hoti hai iski story kaise hoti hai agar clinical trial karna it's not just a clinical trial uh jo journey hai usse bahut pehle shuru ho jati hai you know so first of all kya hota hai na so based on uh, public health uh, needs ke um, kis kis disease ko uh, target karna so first they what they try to do is they target one disease so how this is targeted it may be based on health emergency jaise abhi you know have a very good example covid vaccine is that ek health emergency si thi aur mostly um, government bodies ne aur jo international health organization ne unhone pharma ko bola ki make it a priority you you, you stop your normal clinical trials work on this because this is a current health emergency that is one condition and second is कंपनीज की भी अपनी अपनी स्ट्रेंथ होती है यू नो कोई कंपनी का स्ट्रेंथ खुश होता है किसी कंपनी का खुश होता है लाइक इफ आई टॉक अबाउट माय कंपनी वेयर आई वर्क जीएसके दे आर स्ट्रेंथ इज वैक्सीन डेवलपमेंट दे आर मोर कैपेबल दे आर पाइपलाइन इज मोर स्ट्रॉगर इन वैक्सीन सो दे लव टू टॉक अबाउट अ वैक्सीन डिजीज सो टुमारो इफ दे वॉन्टेड टू यू नो टारगेट सम न्यू डिजीज दे डेफिनेटली दे विल बी प्लेइंग ऑन देयर स्ट्रेंथ but similarly some pharma they are uh, you know their oncology can be uh, their strength they can uh, you know try to target different types of the cancer similarly some organization they maybe they they are more they are having more capabilities in terms of women health they know their problems more so they can choose their disease so once a company kya hote hai they choose their disease okay main vaccine pe kaam karunga ye infectious disease pe kaam karenge maybe hame neuro ki koi develop drug develop karne so this is how they select one disease okay we have selected one disease and we are saying we are going from lab to clinical trial so then they develop a they intercede with the disease progression what i mean by the interceding with the disease progression ke wo jis tarah suppose they have selected one disease maybe cancer they try to develop a you know molecule in a lab 
you know maybe that while you are computational chemistry they can develop uh, you know they can use a computer modeling programs to develop multiple maybe 10000 20000 compounds right so this is they, they try to develop different type of molecule and out of those different molecule suppose they have uh, selected 10000 molecule and out of those 10000 they may try to now screen it लाइक ओके ये जीन इसके लिए फिट हो रहा है और इसका मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन क्या है इसका जीनोम मैपिंग क्या है सो बेस्ड ऑन ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन दे ट्राई टू सिलेक्ट लीड राइट एंड सो नाउ फर्स्ट दे सिलेक्ट अ डिजीज सेकेंड दे मेक अ मॉलिक्यूल इन अ लैब एंड देन दे यू नो ट्राई टू सिलेक्ट लीड आउट ऑफ दोज सो नाउ द थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज दैट अभी ठीक है हमने डिजीज भी सिलेक्ट कर ली Uh, आपने कैंसर सेलेक्ट कर लिया फिर उसने आपने कुछ uh, बहुत सारे मॉलिक्यूल्स लैब में बना भी लिए देन व्हाट नेक्स्ट आपने थोड़ा सा उसका मैकेनिज्म भी अंडरस्टैंड कर लिया कि ओके okay, ये रिसेप्टर लेवल पे काम करता है या ये किस लेवल पे काम करता है नाउ आपको उसकी डिस्कवरी टेस्टिंग करनी है राइट यू रियली हैव टू डिस्कवर दैट मॉलिक्यूल सो हाउ डज इट बिग कैन सो इट इज लाइक डज इट वर्क विच इज अ वेरी बिग क्वेश्चन ठीक है यू हैव यू नो सिंथेसाइज मेनी मेनी मॉलिक्यूल्स इन लैब लेकिन क्या ये काम कर रहे हैं या सो हाउ लॉन्ग एंड शॉर्ट एक्टिंग उसका एक्शन मे बी कितना है कितनी देर मे बी फोर आर टू आर वट एवर द एक्शन इट इज हाउ डज इट वर्क उसका मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन राइट एंड वट इज द रूट कैन बी गिव इट ओरली इज इट आई वी इज नीडेड और आई एम इज नीडेड so all these questions they are answered in discovery testing i will take you to the net. i hope you are able to follow me till this so we we are saying that we wanted to go from lab to market right so we selected a disease we synthesized a molecule and out of that we selected one uh, we selected many not a one i'm sorry then we are going with the discovery testing right and other question what we uh, answer for that molecule is that chemical synthesis theek hai we have selected these many molecules is it possible to synthesize them on a manuf uh, or uh, sorry manufacture these molecules in a bulk right that is a very valid question aap clinical trials karne ke baad nahi bol sakte oh i'm sorry ye to manufacture hi nahi ho sakta iska to large scale synthesis possible in me so all these questions Are you know answered before going going to be a big, so this what looked into this that is it possible that we can make a bulk formulations out of this you know, and is it safe for environment which is very valid question right and ऐसा तो नहीं कि the people who will be involved in manufacturing that manufacturing process can harm those people so so the, these these are very valid questions and they are looked into. and iske baad they file agar yahan tak is is good things are looking promising they file a patent and they may file a patent for many months right and additionally um they also try to you know um, uh think around the financials which are important right so uh, what are the investments in our manufacturing what are their profit projection so um, although this is not so important for uh, you know um, students but i thought it's good to mention here like because this is one of the key uh, uh, reason where pharma decide like how to go ahead so now we have tested okay till this story is looking good chemical synthesis is possible now what next is look because jab molecule ja uh, vaccine injection hamare paas aata hai aur bill aata hai so there are other things those are also looked into that is stability and the formulation development right uh, in which formulation it is best right is possible in oral is possible in iv or im so which formulation is looking more promising is it chemical stable on exposure of light moisture temperature so all these things are studied uh, you know in depth and since you are pharmacy student you know lot more on these things and can we make a tablets or is it or we have to make a capsule or or injection so all these things they work on till this so till this we we are just working on a molecule in a kind of lab 
you know, on a smaller scale. And uh, where efforts are not that high and budgets are also not that high. But the moment we step out of this zone, let me go to next step. We will start with animal testing, right? Because till now, if you look at every step, everything is happening in a lab. There is no biological model in this, right? So everything is outside the biological model. So uh, as per regulations, we can't directly go into a human system unless we don't have some understanding or some data on our animal models. So that's the reason it is advised that a regulatory is advised. It's not advised, basically it's a rule that you have to test on two species, maybe that a rodent, maybe a horse or whatever, at least two species, right? So this is known as a safety testing or also known as a preclinical animal studies. So what is looked into this? Pharmacokinetics and the pharmacodynamics of the uh, drug. Because this is the first time we are testing our molecule in the biological system, right? So what, the, what does drug do to a body and how does body is responding to drug is looked into these studies. Right. So what are the key toxicologies of this? Is there any major toxic effects? Maybe reproductive studies are done or what are the key side effects? Right. And if there is some issue in terms of absorption or toxicity related problem, can it be fixed? Yeah. So there are a problem. Right. Perfect. Is it possible to fix them? Maybe they can play around the dose. If the toxicity is toxicity is very high on X dose. Can they reduce the dose, right? Or is there any problem in the absorption? If the absorption is not that good in the oral, is it possible to improvise it in uh, by injections, right? So these are looked at. Once we are successful till this, you know, animal testing, uske baad hum regulatory ke paas apni file leke jate hain ki please give us a permission for a new drug development. Right. So look at the effort that is going into. So now we will submit to in our investig our you know application. You can application of permission. So investigate, which is known as investigational new drug. Jaise aap college mein admission ke liye ek application dete ho. So this is similarly. Uh, ye regulatory regulatory body ke naam hai. This is DCJ is for India, FDA is for US. So we submit the application to these regulatory bodies, please give us permission to do the clinical trial. So, abhi humne clinical trial start bhi nahi kiya. To aur itne sare steps humme karne pade, aur ye sara data is application mein hum log submit karte hain. So now, let me come to your human trials, right? Since this is, you know, ye humara ek introductory webinar hai, so I want go deep in the trials. Reason is I don't want to scare you, right? So just wanted to talk around in general, right? If we have done successful animal studies and we got a permission, okay, FDA or DCTI ne bol diya ke, thik hai, aap trial kar lo, human trials kar lo. So how we start? We start with the phase one, right? It's a graded process. It's a graded process, one step by step. So we start with the phase one, and if it if phase one में बहुत ही कम लोग लिए जाते हैं बहुत healthy लोगों को लिया था maybe sometime ten twenty इतने कम लोग भी होते हैं so that because this is first time we are going to test drug in human पहली बार कोई drug human body के अंदर जा रहा है so the researchers or scientists they want to be very very cautious right so they start with very less and they give the pills to you know medicine to uh, healthy voluntary alone so if it is successful if it is green it's a successful then we can you know go to phase two or phase one me kya dekha jata hai phase one me ek hi cheez dekha jati hai ki safe hai that's it and thoda sa pkpg dekha jata hai ki pharmacokinetics kaisa hai pharmacodynamics kaisa hai if the phase one is successful then we can go ahead and uh, with the phase two. And in phase two, mein kya dekha jata hai? Ke is it safe and is it effective? Kya ye kaam bhi kar rahi hai? 
तो यहाँ पे दिस फेज टू इज द मेन स्टडी यहाँ पे हम लोग डोजेज डिसाइड करते हैं कि ओके ट्वेंटी एम दिया जाएगा या कितना एम दिया जाएगा फाइव फाइव एम दिया जाएगा इंजेक्शन दिया जाएगा वट विल बी द बेस्ट राइट सो दैट इज डिसाइडेड इन द फेज टू एंड इफ द फेज टू इज सक्सेसफुल देन वी कैन मूव टू फेज थ्री बट सैड साइड इज दैट इफ वी आर नॉट सक्सेसफुल वी आर बैक टू स्पेयर वन राइट so that's the uh, the main challenging part that attrition is very very high i will take you to another diagram in our coming slides which will reflect on what is the attrition you know so uh, it comes to phase 3 and if by god's grace the phase 3 is successful in phase 3 is the effectiveness is looked in that in the population number of patient dose are taken the trial they are very high maybe 3000 4000 abhi zyada number of logo pe trial kiya jata hai so if phase 3 is successful then again we can go to our regulatory body dcgi or fda uh, basically depending on kaun se country mein hum trial kar rahe hain we submit then the, all the data since the beginning and we tell them we are successful Our our drug is effective. See now, either they can give us approval, or you know they may ask us more question, right? So they may ask us, okay, give us more data on this. If they even ask us to give us more data, we have to provide. So now this is you know summary of new drug development, uh, which I talked in last ten minutes, right? So. if you you this is very interesting slide you know uh, in terms if you wanted to take a comprehensive understanding of clinical trial so we start in the lab you know we select the disease we uh, we make molecules in the lab then out of that we select leading molecules right and here look at this we start with the, almost 10000 or more right and this only years this is time this is going time this is number of molecule and third is our investment this is in terms of you know uh, budget so we are starting with very less budget right then we the 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 way we are moving into a funnel is that at the end only one or two max they make to a market they come into a market right so look at the attrition it is enormous it's very high so and the no years so almost it take 10 years or maybe 15 years sometime for to develop a new drug and see the budget is expanding you know so the so the stakes are very high so we start with the lab we select the lead compound we test it like okay is it working is it possible we also try to understand ke uh what is its uh, chemical synthesis can we scale it up or not so uh, similarly we also look into stability and formulation right then we do our safety testing in animal because these are our first to biological systems after that we go to human right and if the human trial are successful then only you can market come into a market एंड एक बार मार्केट में आगे तो भी इट्स नॉट यू आर सॉर्टेड आपने कितने बार न्यूज में पढ़ा होगा कि एक्स फार्मा हैज रिकॉल्ड देयर प्रोडक्ट्स फ्रॉम मार्केट राइट आई 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 एम श्योर दैट यू मस्ट हैव रेड दैट द रीजन इज कई बार मॉलिक्यूल मार्केट में आ जाता है देन आपको पता चलता है कि ओ इसके तो इतने साइड इफेक्ट रिपोर्ट हो रहे हैं तो कंपनीज क्या करती हैं टू सेव देम सेल्फ राइट दे they voluntarily recall that right so this is very interesting slide to and make you understand like how much time it takes how much you know molecule make into a market and what budget budget looks like this is hypothetically but this is based on the statistics so do you have a question till now uh, you may ask me or we can take a questions at the end right okay silence means no question i go back 
so now if we if i want to uh, you know uh, make you understand the what type of career or uh, you wanted to visualize for yourself in a clinical research so you see pehli bar kabhi koi clinical research ka naam sunta they feel like nahi nahi ye to patient ke sath interaction hoga right so so there are two type of role exist one is patient facing second is patient supporting sporting roles right one is patient facing one is sporting role so if you look at this diagram most of the roles they are uh, sporting roles because abhi humne learn kiya ke how how effort taking this is this process is so which means lot of effort is needed so that is the reason these roles exist so uh different type of roles may be pharmacovigilance once your drug is in market it is watched closely so if there are a side effect it's a unwanted uh, you know side effects those are reported it is known as a pharmacovigilance right so another is clinical operation which means when you actually do the trial on uh, human participants third is medical writing see all the document those are needed for a clinical research you know you are protocol you are clinical study report informed consent form and investigative brochures you know and a lot of documentation is needed in clinical research that is known as a medical site so as i said like uh, uh, data is submitted to regulatory body jo data submit kiya jata hai regulatory bodies mostly been prepared by those reports are prepared by medical writers आप अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते ना आपने इतनी मेहनत से पांच साल ट्रायल किया और एंड में आप अपनी आपकी रिपोर्ट कहीं स्टैंड नहीं करते क्योंकि रेगुलेटरी बॉडी आगे तो डेली तो आपने को चेक नहीं करेंगे ना कि आपने ट्रायल कैसे किया बहुत अच्छे से कर रहे हो बहुत ड्यू डेलिजेंस से कर रहे नो दे विल रीड इट फ्रॉम योर रिपोर्ट विच इज प्रिपेयर बाय मेडिकल राइटर्स एंड वेन यू गो टू टेक अ परमिशन ऑफ द ट्रायल ओके गिव अस अ परमिशन टू डू अ ट्रायल दोज ऑल दोज डॉक्यूमेंट प्रोटोकॉल इन फॉर्म कंसेंट फॉर्म दे आर प्रिपेयर बाय मेडिकल सो वेरी इंटेलिजेंटली यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर दीज डॉक्यूमेंट सो डेटा मैनेजमेंट अनदर फंक्शन विच इज अवेलेबल इन क्लिनिकल रिसर्च सिंस लॉट ऑफ डेटा इज रिलेटेड सो यू हैव टू फाइंड अ वे टू मैनेज दैट डेटा राइट सो रेगुलेटरी अफेयर्स uh the which you have to work directly with the regulatory body so different these are you know different types of the roles like drug safety associate for pharmacovigilance you know if you wanted to go to a nokri or to a linkedin to see ke kaisa iska naam kaisa hota is job ka so medical writer is very straight forward way medical writer so um uh, clinical data associate investigator investigator and crc clinical research coordinator these are two roles those are patient facing in ye dono hi patient ke sath directly inka interaction hota hai investigator jo doctor hai trial mein and crc jo hospital side pe kaam kare so rest of the roles they are sporting roles so you may be working with pharma you you may be working with the contract research organization so these are the roles and now of course we will be interested to understand like who is the primary employer for these uh, you know uh, roles of course one thing is pharmaceutical companies but since as i told you there is a lot of work pharma companies they also take a sort of contract research organizations for each and every trial i have not find a trial which a single company is doing from end to end they all ways taking a scope from a clinic contract research organization there are very uh, there are leading uh, contract organization research organization those are available and they all offer all these scopes right mm. guys mute yourself okay please please go ahead okay uh, sorry and you can also look for the roles in medical device manufacturing right or biotech firms right medical communications uh, marketing and advertising agencies 
So these are more for a medical writers, uh, medical education companies, or you can also work freelance. But uh, freelancer is not possible at the start of a career. Uh, but once you gained a good, you know, good amount of uh, experience, then you can, you know, if you feel like, no, I wanted to work from the comfort of my home, so you can also work as a freelancer because a lot of work is available in the clinical space. So now if I wanted to talk around, I have not made a slide like how, how much is the scope for a clinical research? As you know, there are a number of diseases, those need attention. There are many challenges, right? And all these diseases need, need solution in terms of everything, diagnostic, cure, and maybe improving quality of life. So it means a lot of trial going to happen in future. If a lot of trial going to happen in future, means a lot of job opportunities. So uh, I won't uh, spend a lot of time here, but maybe um, some of your friends, they need help on this. Uh, who can make a career in a clinical search? Anyone who has... Uh, you know, background of life sciences or a science background. So if you are done master's in uh, life sciences, you know, like me, or you are master's in pharmacy or you're nursing, or maybe you have done MBBS or uh, other fields, uh, medical fields, maybe a dental, dental, dental surgery, physiotherapy, and et cetera, or you maybe have done a PhD in life sciences or a pharmacy, or you may be a, a graduate student in a pharmacy. So I just tried to put it here so that you get a fair idea, like who can make a career in a clinical. So, so um, I think that is the end. And these are few resource material I have kept for your understanding. So the best is ICH, that is her golden international guideline. Is, uh, so clinical research is uh, global guidelines. If there is research in India, mein ho rahi hai, that will be accepted in US or vice versa. So we are working in the, under the umbrella of a global guideline, which are known as the ICHGCP. Lot of information is available. I, I, I'll recommend you please take out time and visit this site. You know? So spend some time here. Because pharma may be, we are using templates. Those are provided by ICGC. And this is another site, which is very good. It's a public site, uh, clinicaltrials.org. Uh, jitne bhi clinical trials ho rahe hai, you will be able to find all those on this website, right? CTRI, this is from India. Uh, isme aur in dono mein difference kya hai ki ct.gov pe results bhi available hai aapko results bhi dikh jayenge but ctr pe pe sirf aapki protocol ke bare mein information milegi so this is for a european union uh, udra city so uh, take out time and spend few minutes on these websites to understand more and if you wanted to you know learn about clinical research as such you can also find some material here so I also published my book because many times people ask over LinkedIn, like, can you uh, give us, you know, some reference? So, and I worked uh, so much in a clinical research that I gained a lot of uh, knowledge over the time. So this year I published a book and this book has two parts. One is it will introduce you to a topic of clinical research, what clinical research is. And a second part is more, more dedicated to uh, medical writing because I have worked for five years